From your gallery page, click on the plus in the top right corner to add or create a new canvas. As you can see, there are already some presets and some that I have created for past client work. You can't edit the screen size canvas, but for example, we can swipe left on the square template. As you may know, the amount of layers you can add to any drawing in Procreate depends on the resolution or size of your canvas, as well as the available RAM or rapid access memory space on your iPad. The newer your machine is or the bigger memory it has, the more layers you'll be able to use. I'm on an 11 inch iPad Pro from 2018. You can see the number of maximum layer information changes according to the size I set. To make your own canvas, let's cancel out of here and click on the plus sign next to new canvas. Enter the dimensions you like. Let's say we're going to make a long scenic piece. So I want to change pixels to inches and make it 12 by four. If I'm going to print something, I'll use at least 300 DPI, that's dots per inch. None of my pieces are super complex, so even if I go to 400 DPI for this size, I still have dozens of layers to play with. Once you're happy with the dimensions, let's look at color profile. If you ever made a digital drawing and printed it only to find that everything was kind of muted and looked pretty differently, here's why. RGB stands for red, green, and blue, and it's the standard way that color is displayed on screens. So if your piece is going to be digital, this is the output you want to choose. ICC stands for International Color Consortium, and they set standards or sets of data for color management on devices. If you're being commissioned by someone for a digital piece, they'll probably give you the specifications they need, and you can import them here. For printing, use CMYK, which stands for cyan or cyan, magenta, yellow, and K is black. You'll see here that Procreate has taken some of the guesswork out of it already by giving us presets for standard graded data sets. Being precise in how your printed color is going to show up is really important for logo clients or high profile brands. Under time lapse settings, you can choose the quality of the video output. 1080p is okay for most things you want to export to Insta or your website. The higher quality you go, the larger the file is going to be. HEVC stands for High Efficiency Video Coding, and according to Apple developers, HEVC video with alpha is contained inside a single video track in the movie. In the single track, each frame contains two parts called layers, and each layer is compressed using the HEVC codec. The base layer contains the colored image of the frame as usual. Last but not least, you can change the properties of your canvas in terms of background color or hiding the background altogether. This is something that comes in handy when you're exporting to PNGs where the background is transparent and only your drawing or lettering shows up and can be superimposed onto other images. You can also change the background color and hide the background layer from inside your layers panel. Now that we've created our canvas, let's give it a name and save it. And for my project, I've drawn four seasons in one day.